Sikhs from the Midlands have travelled to one of the poorest nations in the world to help feed hungry children. The food's been donated in the spirit of langa, a Sikh tradition dating back 500 years of feeding the homeless or needy. Jars Latcham reports. At this Birmingham Gurdwara, they dish out 20,000 meals a week, served selflessly by volunteers. This is langa, free food for all, not just Sikhs, given in a spirit of compassion and equality. Equality between man and woman, but also equality between people of different social statuses, professions, or whatever they might be. Um, so it's ultimate, if you'd like, the ultimate icebreaker. For three young men, Lungar is an excellent fit with the United Nations objective of ending hunger worldwide. In my mind, it's sort of zero hunger. We've got this thing called Lungar, zero hunger with Lungar. It just clicked. Where there's Lungar, there's no, there's no space for hunger. And that's why Zero Hunger with Lungar was born. And now exported to Malawi in East Africa, where malnutrition claims the lives of thousands of children each year. Last month, food donated here fed children there, in the process persuading parents to send their kids to school. We're helping provide meals uh, to those schools, and with that we see a higher attendance rate. As soon as the meal programme stops, there's up to a 70% drop in attendance in, in schools. The ladies there actually walk 14 kilometres a day, round trip to collect water. But what made it magical was the singing and the happiness and, and you know, the amount of love that they were giving us in return for what we would think is a basic food stuff. It's what we take for granted. From the streets and temples of the West Midlands, Lungar's heading next for more East African countries and to South America. From the heart of England, a kindness born of one faith but shared with all. Giles Latcham, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.